Yeah. Well, the three D printing organs. Yeah. Specific. Yeah. Yeah. The whole idea of having more organs and bodies. How that's, how great that? How great sweet. is that? Like you know, organs that are waiting for a body. I mean, like, he's all about embodiment, isn't he? Like more users than there are bodies. At that point, that's when you become a car. You just any part breaks down, you replace you replace. It. Yeah. You you print it out and you replace it. I love that. Yeah. And there's no rejection of the organ because you're not like getting a donor organ. It's printed just for you. It's yours. They're doing my honest project now. That's still quite a long way. Off. Yeah. Damn it, you scientists! Hurry up and make this shit happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> is this the last guy? <laughs> this is the last guy, okay. James Edwin Thomas. Sweet. All right. So That's pretty cool. These talks will be put up online. I think. I hope. I don't know when the videos will be up. Yeah, yeah. but we'll, 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 we'll link it to when it's there. They yeah. will be up, but I think in terms of singularity presentations, I think probably probably the one that best summarized it, especially for a person that might not be coming in with a uh, the background was on by James Newton Thomas and uh, he's, he's got a background sort of in trying to automate uh, automate uh, machines used in mining using like um, a neural net AI mm -hmm. and yeah so he's got a background in AI and he basically was just talking about how AI is actually very much possible like he's very optimistic about AI being possible very soon based upon current trends in technology yeah. so like he, I suppose you know Tristan had a couple of problems with uh, uh, De Gra uh, uh, Hugo, Hugo. Um, because um, Hugo de Garris, sorry, because um, you know he, he didn't quite argue from the trains. Like he so, he sort of had a lot of assumptions that he didn't uh, express he explicitly, up. and uh, you know he he would he would say a lot of things. I I'm sure if he had more time, he would have. But just in this presentation, was he didn't necessarily do that. Whereas with James and Thomas, you know he he went from like the classic stuff yeah. from Moore's Law and all the other stuff. And James, I, I could agree with pretty much everything there. Yeah, that he he it's was very in the industry. He was yeah. there. He was. He was someone that I would love to have a few beers with and pick his mind. Great yeah. guy, very down to earth. No, he did not make any grandiose announcements. He did yeah. not make anything crazy. Actually, he said he, he explicitly said that hype destroys the movement. Yeah. So. Well, there we go. Yeah. 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 He was very down to earth. That's why I really liked him. It was kind of cool that you could extrapolate a little bit, but he didn't extrapolate many years in the future. He just said just a few, just based off what the trends are going. You can do this. He, he brought up two relevant, really uh, relevant things actually. Like mm -hmm. he, he, he was arguing by the notion of tipping points. Like you got to pick your tipping points right. But the tipping point that he chose, and I thought it was pretty interesting, was the price of computation relative to a child. <laughs> that was so great. he says that right now, like computation about that is cheaper than it is to have a child in the developed world. I mean, five hundred thousand dollars for a uh, you know child in the developed world versus a one point two petaflop. You yeah. Know, Computer. I mean, can, can we, yeah. have either of you guys thought about that before? Actually, applying the computational power of a kid to the price. I mean, that's mm. great. I'd never considered that before. Price we brought bit. it up. It was like, <laughs> holy shit! We have actually crossed a massive thing here. That it is cheaper to buy a computer that would have more computational power than a kid. That's so, a, what the well, fuck. I have children. <laughs> Because they're cuddly. Yeah. <laughs> they're cuddly and you can throw them. <laughs> you can mortalize. Yeah. <laughs> Mortify them. <laughs> anyway, um, aside from... Uh, yeah, I thought it was a good barrier, yeah. Children, awesome. Uh, <laughs> uh, you do not need... And the other big thing that he brought up is that you do not need everything for function. Like, you do not necessarily no. need a computer that is as powerful as a human brain to, to emulate or even replace a lot of the functions. We can still outsource our decision-making to computers if they are not... Yeah necessarily to our theoretical level though these numbers are really rubbly like so, yeah. whenever somebody estimated our again to the hive yeah. mind again to the intelligence emerging from the internet <laughs> why not just have most of the applications you need just outsourced to the internet get them to do the bits and pieces all yeah. you really need is just the beginning just the, the the basis part they're actually connecting it all together whatever connects it all together is going to be the ai ah we're gonna we're gonna actually try and maybe write up a proper like academic if we can journal to try and push our point across. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be cool to just <laughs> articulate our view and something. Yeah, but I don't know how accurate it'd be because the AI community is not really <laughs> they're following a different path that we don't agree. Anyway, with. Anyway, um, well, I'm not sure. James. Just just a very just a very very small subset of the AI community that was in attendance of the conference yeah. seemed mm. to seem to argue against emergence because emergence was not a concept that was brought up. No. All I too mean, often, consciousness and intelligence is a, an emergence. That life. is one. That is one perspective. Just remember that the, you know the field of uh, the field of neuroscience is way open right now. Yeah, well, they yeah. don't. There's no set science yet. So. And well, emergence is a very rubbery term as well. Like, yeah, yeah. magic. 
Yeah, cheeseburgers. Which is, yeah. <laughs> Kevin B. Corbs, <laughs> epic takedown of Bruce's, or of Nathan's, sorry, uh, ideology. <laughs> Magic. So what else did the, what else did the guy say? Uh, James. James and Thomas, I think that's... That's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, fiber optics across the planet are faster than the corpus callosum. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And Australia's getting fiber optics, so... Who's, who's the big guy to talk about with that? Um, the one machine, dude. Kevin Kelly? Yeah, yeah, Kevin yeah, Kelly. Yeah, he, he, he really extrapolated upon that, yeah. And one Which thing that I thought was pretty brain. cool as well, that he was saying that uh, our brain, with the amount of connections we have, we're still more efficient energy-wise. Uh, 30 watt is all it really takes. Like a bite, light bulb going non-stop yeah. 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 is all we require for our brain, whereas uh, <laughs> the computers now require a little bit more. Quite a lot it's more. Actually, down, we though. should stop our research from climate change. Yeah, I know. They're destroying the world, yeah, man. Yeah, destroying the world. Dude, all right, so... Two things, stop eating meat and stop using the computer. <laughs> Use your brain. No. no. <laughs> what is it, the Butlerian, the Butlerian revolution? Uh, we're going to go from Dune. Uh, the yeah. whole idea of, yeah, Mentats. Cool. Maybe, okay. maybe not. Okay. So how should we summarize the conference? I, uh, let, 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 let's do it, let's do it in a line. With you being first. With, with like a sentence uh, with one word each? Like, no, well just like 30 seconds. All right, 30 seconds back in the conference. Um, so, it was awesome. I, I can't wait for next year. Um, I'm keen to actually go help them out and organize it next year. So hopefully we'll be bigger. Hopefully we'll have more speakers and maybe like split it over a few more days. I mean, 12 hours a day for two days <laughs> was a little hectic. Um, and I think everyone sort of felt that. We should have it like maybe, I don't know how you're going to do it though because you'd have to go in like the holidays or some point. But yeah, like four days or whatever. I know. But yeah, it was awesome. And can't wait for next year. Yeah, I would echo a lot of those sentiments. I think it was really, really awesome that's, uh, that you know the, the effort was put into putting the precedent. You know, now a couple of us know each other. Now we know that there was actually a couple of people thinking about the singularity in Australia, which is which yeah. is important because you know we're 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 getting to be we're a minority economy. still. We're a minority, <laughs> but still, you know, we're here, and you know, yeah, there there's exciting things ha happening down in well Australia, and it was really awesome sort of hearing about a lot of them. And yeah, even though there were a few too many big style statements, especially on the subject of nanotechnology, uh, that I picked up on, aside from that, it was really awesome. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm the same. I, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. One thing I would love is for uh, some of the speakers afterwards to come out for a few beers, come and chill out. More of the, uh, like we've said before, that I found. I got the most out of the conference by actually just interacting and chatting with people at the conference. If there yeah. was more. Uh, facilitated ways to interact yeah. with people there that I would love. I would absolutely love that. 12 hours, uh, yeah. We it, could, it, 12 we hours makes it a little it. different. Uh, yeah. It makes it a little difficult. People don't have as much time to network. It, it, it's, is, yeah, net, networking. I'd, I'd really like to push more networking, but as far as it went, absolutely phenomenal. And I'd love yeah. to buy beers for people who spoke there and for shit, the other people there. It was just great. Can't wait for next year. It's I think we, we each spent at least 100 bucks on beer. Over yeah. the weekend, didn't we? Cheers. Probably. But they're expensive yeah. down there. We didn't buy like, you know, three cases each and drink it, I think. <laughs> they weren't that expensive. But it was... They weren't that expensive. There was a lot of beer. There was a drink that night. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it was good fun. It was fun. Cool. This has been a High 45 Plus. Uh, plus, yeah. Well, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, it's been great. Uh, I'm Tristan Grace. I'm Jeffrey Pitcock. I'm Nathan Waters. Catch, catch you, next you guys time. next week. Stay classy. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Gotcha.